up Vivek with the key movers and shakers of the day. Vivek. Well, thank you so much for that. You know, quite a choppy trading session like you just mentioned. But, you know, looking at the list of stocks that did quite well in the session today, first on our list, last and two, bro, you know, the big boy uh, managed to be the top gainer as far as the Nifty also was concerned. Today, what actually happened in LNT was the fact that uh, CLSA, you know, continued its positive stance on the stock. They believe, irrespective of whether or not large order wins from Middle East start uh, trickling down or you know, start slowing down, they believe that the Indian defense and the existing orders from uh, Aramco is something that will continue to buoy the order inflow. The second set of stocks, you know, has to be the power pack. The entire power pack, you know, like we mentioned a little earlier, uh, power demand is expected to grow even higher. So look at the BSC Power Index, Power Grid, JLW, Energy, even some of the names from the renewable space like LCV and NHPC, some of the stocks that did quite well. Uh, the next stock on our radar, Industar. All eyes, you know, on, will be on tomorrow's uh, Vodafone Idea board meet as far as uh, fundraising is concerned. But the stock continued to tell a rally over the last three to four trading sessions. Policy Bazaar, another stock that did quite well. You know, in the last three to four trading sessions, the stock is up almost between 12 to 14 percent. So that's been doing very well. And Glenmark Pharma, one more upgrade coming in. Remember last week, HSBC upgraded the stock. Today, Investec also upgraded the stock on the back of debt reduction plans post GLS take sale. On the other hand, like you mentioned, some stocks that uh, some sectors that saw a bit of selling pressure, the entire IT pack, uh, the Nifty IT index, some of the top laggards, Birla Soft, you know, within the mid cap space. Uh, falling almost over three and a half percent. A capital good stocks today, you know, after the stellar rally saw a bit of profit booking. So names like ABB, Cummins, uh, also, you know, some of the other smaller names like uh, Timken India. These are some of the names that saw a bit of profit booking. Moving on, Asian Paints, top lagger on the Nifty. You know, we've enumerated the reasons in terms of uh, kind of competitive intensity over there. Rain Industries, this was a stock, you know, amongst the top laggards as far as the Nifty 500 was concerned. VQ4CY23 showing. And after that, the stock that had run up in anticipation of results saw quite a bit of selling pressure. And the last stock, you know, one of the top laggards as far as the FNO space was concerned was Alcom Labs. A lot of news flow over there, irrespective of the fact that the company gave a clarification saying, you know, no worries as far as tax trend is concerned, stock still ended over 6.5% lower. But, uh, Vivek, thank you very much. Comprehensive wrap out of what the day's action looked like. Shilpa Rao, the Prabhu